Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the Big Ramadan show. We are now joined by Humaira and Aisha. Assalamu alaikum. So you guys are from the Muslim Scout Fellowship and um, one of our uh, presenters, Sadia, is yes. uh, your fundraising, one of your fundraising team. And so we know a little bit about it. She's told me a little bit, but tell us, for those of that don't know about Muslim Scouts, let us know a little, a little bit, bit more. more. Um, so scouting is a very, it's been around for over 100 years mm -hmm. now. Um, and it originally started in the UK by somebody called Baden Powell. Okay. Um, and in the past two decades or so, scouting in the Muslim community has become really, really popular. Um, we have over 135 wow. scouting wow. groups wow. in the UK um, that are predominantly Muslim groups. So within the scouting structure, no group is exclusive to any one community mm -hmm. or group. But within the Muslim community, what we have is we have groups where we are mainly, the majority of people are Muslim and we run in accordance with Islamic principles. Okay. But the beautiful thing about scouting is that the values of scouting, so a scout should be trustworthy and loyal, they go hand in hand with our values um, as Muslims anyways. Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, in the past decade or so, like it's grown exponentially on a daily basis as MSF. We get requests in about children joining. Can my children join? I love yeah, this. I love hearing about it. I love how passionate you are. Yes. We've got a quick video for our viewers to watch just MSF. to understand more. So let's go to it. Be prepared. Scouting is the largest youth organization in the world. Scouting has more than 50 million followers worldwide with more than 60% Muslim. We are the official body representing Muslim Scouts in the UK, raising awareness of Scouting within the Muslim community. There are now more than 5,000 Muslim Scouts in the UK and counting. I get most excited about coming to these camps where I see so many wonderful Muslim Scouts. We work with the Scouting Association to set up new Muslim Scouting groups and have set up more than 100 Scout groups nationwide. Disadvantaged and disengaged young people are developing into young, confident young British Muslims. We support Muslims in scouting through training leaders, facilitating access and needs, organising national and international events, annual regional Olympics competitions, summer camps and trips, and every four years host an international jamboree. We proudly have successfully set up Gilwell Park Mosque, ensuring the 60% of Muslims in scouting are represented at the ceremonial Gilwell Park. I'm here to champion young people desperate for a voice. I'm here as chief scout to the greatest movement ever to have been born from these shores. Wow, looks like so much fun. I'm wondering what the age group is. It's open to pretty much everyone. So recently the Scouts opened up something called Squirrels, which starts okay. at four years old. So literally from four, oh, years, wow. four years old onwards. And most people start as babies. If you've grown up in a family where your parents are yeah. Scout leaders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that you, Aisha? I mean, look, look that you. was a really powerful video. And that sense of community yep. values that you yep. mentioned earlier, it yep. really mm. comes through. Why don't you tell us, but each of you, what made you join the Scouts, just so we can get some more of that? I mean, like Amira said, for me, it was a bit of a family affair. <laughs> I started when I was six. I'm 20 now, so it's wow. been a long, long time, and I've yeah. stayed with it throughout. Um, there's lots of sections, so you move up uh, as you get older, um, up until the age of 18. But when you turn 18, you have the opportunity to become a volunteer, um, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, and that can be with your local group, that can be with MSF, at a county or district level, so in your local area. Uh, so there's loads of opportunities. I think the reason I've stuck with it for so long uh, is largely because I think a lot of my social group was found through scouting. Like my best friends definitely made through scouting. The opportunities that you get kind of grow as you grow older. So for example, in the last year, I was able to go to Spain with MSF, uh, wow. which is an opportunity open to m members of the Explorer section and above. So that's 14 years uh, and older. Um, and yeah, the op opportunities have just kind of kept coming. I think it's really kept me wanting to stay involved. Yeah, so it, like I said, it looks like a lot of fun. I was asking for myself, actually, because yeah. I think, it, you know, just getting outdoors, because, you know, as Muslims, a lot of the time we just we meet up, we go for something to eat, but this yeah. looks like, you know, outdoor activities, yeah. indoor activities, something for kind of all the family. So even when you do grow past the sort of age of 18, yeah. you can still volunteer and you can still yeah. kind of be a part of it yourself. Mm -hmm. So one of your fondest memories of Scouts? 
It's too many, isn't yeah, it? Isn't it? <laughs> I was saying earlier, the little, oh my God, what do we do? There's so issue. many, but Alhamdulillah, and I think just going back quickly to what you were saying yeah. about um, about the Muslims getting outdoors and stuff. So for me, scouting is really, really important because it's about putting Islam into action. So yes, we send our kids to Madrasa and they learn like the theory behind yeah. it. But through scouting, we can actually put that into action. So this weekend we had an event called Iftar and the Stars and we wow. had one in yes. Manchester, Birmingham yeah. and in London. And uh, there's a video that we put on our social media mm -hmm. channel, which has kind of gone viral over the weekend of us cooking for a, approximately a thousand people yes and so good. it's just it shows you that sense of community and yeah. the kids in that kitchen are as young as 14 mm -hmm. so the team that makes up a kitchen where else do you get a team of yeah. that the like average age is so young and subhanallah they, they get stuck in they just enjoy yeah. it and things like that and that's i think my fondest memory is anytime there's a real sense of community it's and it's such good, a large yeah. event and we're in service of other people mm -hmm. like those are the most beautiful moments like subhanallah because so nice, yeah. you get that sense of ethos but actually you've got some amazing transferable skills that are just shining through as well. So I'm sure there's so much to it that you can only scratch the surface yeah, here. Yeah. Um, I mean, another part is obviously the Muslim Scout Foundation Jamboree. Mm -hmm. That means nothing to me. So <laughs> tell me a bit more. Um, so jamborees are essentially really large events and they happen all over the world. So the World Scout um, Association, they run one every four years. So the last one was in America. And oh, wow. Alhamdulillah, I was lucky enough to go to that. Oh, and there's about 50,000 scouts. Yeah. So there's scouts in every single country in the world apart from six countries. Um, so you can imagine like just kids from all different backgrounds, Lever, yeah. religions, languages. It's just like amazing. So apart from the international one where you have the World Scout Jamboree, you have smaller ones on a local level. So the Muslim Scout Fellowship ran our first one in, in 2017. And inshallah this year we're running another one. Wow. So we're hoping to have about 3,500 um, mm. attendees from all over the world and locally as well. But I think one of our asks is from the community and people are always asking, how can I get involved? We need more adults to get involved. Oh, yeah. yeah, we right. need more adults to get involved. If you own a company, if you own a catering company, if you own a cash and carry, if you're a videographer, if you're a photographer, Businesses. if you've got skills or if you're a business and mm. you can sponsor us mm -hmm. to put on these events, that's really, really what we need at the moment. We need the support of the community around us to be able to give more young people and adults the opportunity to get involved. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And I know, so my six-year-old and eight-year-old religiously yeah. watch the Big Ramadan show. <laughs> and they'll be seeing you both. And as soon as I go home, they'll be like, right, I want to join. Yeah. Uh, so, but, but in a real sense as well, how, you know, you touched on supporting mm -hmm. uh, Muslim Scout Foundation. Mm -hmm. what, what practically can we do to really help do that? So I think as adults, I think, so I promise you, you know, like on a daily basis, we get messages from parents saying, my five-year-old, my six-year-old, my 10-year-old, my 14-year-old, I, I want them to get involved. Yeah. I want to join. How do they get involved? Unfortunately, because there is such a huge demand imagine, in the Muslim yeah. community and everyone wants their children to get involved, um, the waiting lists are really, really full Ooh, okay. for most groups. Yeah. So what we actually need is we need adults to come forward. We need right. them to support their local groups. We need adults to come forward to set up new groups where, so for example, in Ilford, we've got more than five Muslim scout groups in our local area. Wow. The one that I'm at, like I, can, I can't even tell you how long my waiting list is. Like sometimes <laughs> we have to close it because there's no yeah. point in having one open. Wow. So we need more adults to come forward, more adults to get involved volunteer at your local group not just as an occasional volunteer but take on that responsibility of being an adult leader and i promise you you'll get just as much out of it as the young people do how much commitment is it <laughs> I, was just, I was just thinking about yeah. it. I know. I'm just <laughs> it depends on your role, right? Yeah. So there's a long-standing yes. joke that goes throughout scouting, like all across scouting, that they said it'd only be an hour a week. <laughs> oh, Twenty-four hours later, <laughs> I'm still stood here. An hour a week. It's, um, it depends, and yeah. I always say this to all the volunteers that come through my group: the more you put into it, the more you get out of it mm. as well. Love that. And I think also, like we, I said earlier. I mean, now a lot of the adult volunteers that I know in scouting are people I grew up doing scouting with. Aww. So you kind of bring your social circle with you. You bring your friends along to volunteer with you. You get a lot out of it because you're having a lot of fun doing it. It's not really a chore, you know. Um, and the variety of roles that you can take on, you can volunteer to help with social media, you can volunteer to help with logistics, you can volunteer in the kitchen. There's a lot of people that surprisingly want to volunteer in the kitchens, actually. Mm. Um, but there's so many different things you can do and everyone has a skill that they can offer. There's just working out what that is. There's a role for everybody. 
Incredible. So anyone that is interested in brilliant volunteer opportunities, mm. where can they uh, find you? We've got about 10 so seconds. So www.ukmsf.org. <laughs> um, you can donate at bit.ly forward slash MSF Ramadan 2023. Amazing. And on our social Incredible. media channels, just message us and someone will What brilliant guest. You guys Thank have done an so amazing much. job Honestly. of representing coming, yeah. the organisation. Thank you. And you'll be with us for the rest of the show. But we are off for a quick commercial break now. We'll see you back shortly after this. Oh. Uh -huh.